Dear friends, today is the solemnity of Christ the King. Our topic for today is Christ the Atypical King. Whenever we celebrate this great solemnity, we confirm one truth about our faith and how we relate with the Lord. That we use human language to describe heavenly or divine reality, a reality that is beyond and outside ours. When we say Christ the King, what does it really mean? In the olden days, the king was the highest office in the land. It is the same in many countries today, but most countries, it is the president. Who knows, in the future, it might make more sense to Christians on the face of the earth to celebrate Christ the president instead of Christ the king. One thing is for sure though, whatever title we give him, we cannot completely fathom who he really is until we are united with him. We must hence constantly bear in mind the response Christ himself gave to Pontius Pilate. My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my subjects would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders. But my kingdom is not of this world. Apparently, without being Jesus' follower, the thief on the cross, whom we hear of in the gospel today, is the one who really understood this truth. His words, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Reveal that he understood that, that Jesus' kingdom is not something earthly, that it is from a different reality. Recently, the Qu Queen Elizabeth II, arguably the most powerful monarch in the last two centuries and the second longest reigning monarch in the whole of recorded history, died and was buried. At her burial, the symbols of her reign and power were taken away. This solemn moment brought a thought to mind. Christ's reign never ends. His power can never be taken from him. Neither can the symbols of his power be removed. His is eternal. But what do all these mean to us in our daily lives? For one, for me, it assures us that we are in safe hands. Many of Queen Elizabeth's subjects and undoubtedly many others asked themselves what next when the death of the queen was announced. We have no such worries. Also, we are reminded that life as we know it on this earth will end. We are invited to reflect on how we prepare for our life with Christ in eternity. Next Sunday, we will begin another liturgical calendar, ushering us into a new year. With Christ the King, we look forward in hope and renew our allegiance to him and our commitment to follow his lead in every aspect of our lives. May his grace be sufficient for us.